want to do is take a cup of chunked mango and I'm going to put the chunked mango in my, my brawn. Uh, actually, this is a Cuisinart smart stick. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with this piece of machinery, but it's excellent. I'm going to put um, eight ounces of chunked mango in there. Make sure that it's locked down. <laughs> and then the cool thing about this smart stick is it comes with this other piece that you just put on. And voila, that's good enough. And now I'm going to add uh, another product to, to this mango sort of puree, which is burn. The company is called Burn, and this is an organic fermented hot sauce. Uh, so this particular hot sauce I love. It's Bulgarian carrot. I'm not the biggest fan with. I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Don't worry, I'm coughing. I'm coughing all over my own drink. <laughs> um, but I'm not a real big fan of super spicy, and that's one of the reasons why I love this probiotic hot hot sauce. I haven't even opened it up, and I'm already choking. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just going to pour two spoonfuls of this Bulgarian carrot hot sauce into the Cuisinart Smart Stick, okay? So let's just get that pureed with the liquid now. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. Now what I'm going to do is put this into my mixing vessel, which I forgot to pull out. So I have a really nice Rydell one. Um, you really don't need to have anything fancy for this, but um, basically we're going to take this puree, like I said, it's about eight ounces, and put it in the mixing vessel, like so. I love mango, I love tropical fruits, but I particularly love mango with ginger. So, um, and the great thing about the mango and the ginger, whenever you add an element of heat, like I did with the uh, Bulgarian carrot hot sauce by Burn, let me just taste it and make sure it's hot enough. You might want it a little spicier too. Hi, Maddie. Um, I want a little spicier, just a little bit. I'm gonna put a third little teaspoon in there and mix it up like so. Excellent. I don't mind chunks in my drink. <laughs> Rydell forever, no doubt. So I don't mind chunks of, of food and such in my drinks. I wanted to introduce you to two different alcohol te uh, tequila alternatives. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. So we have free spirits. This is called Spirit of Tequila. It's alcohol free, I know, can you believe it? Uh, and then we have Ritual. Ritual also makes a tequila alternative. And for today's, I'm going to use uh, Free Spirits, if I can get, <laughs> if Mylon, if Mylon was the founder was watching, he would laugh and say, jiggle it, jiggle it, and pull. I might have to use the ritual. Let's see. Right. Rituals comes off a lot easier, so we're going to have to use the ritual. And I'm gonna put a double shot of the tequila alternative in here. A double shot. Woo! There we go. And what to do from here? A little stir, stir. And you can see it's it's basically a 
puree now. And from here, let's turn that down just so I don't get flagged. <laughs> I tend to make trouble sometimes, not per on purpose. Let's open up this Madame Yule and see if I'm gonna get a shower today or not. And as you see, these are the, this is the old product that is um, the pry off. We have new twist off crown caps, which is, I know, totally epic. It only took me like two years to make that happen. <laughs> so I also don't like to use ice in my drinks. Why? Because it waters things down and I like to have things more concentrated. If you need to chill something, chill it. But why put it on ice unless you absolutely have to? We're gonna take this puree, we're gonna add it. It's gonna fill up about half your glass. As so, like so, all right. And then from here, you're gonna add your, it's about three ounces. You can see how bubbly and effervescent the Madame Mule Shrabucha is. So you have to just pour, let it, let the head go down, pour again, let the head go down. I'm going to slurp it a little. Ow! That is yummy and a little spicy. Just the way I like it, just a little spicy. Look at the bubbles on that drink. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. I'm gonna stir it up. Now, yesterday, whenever I was at Trader Joe's, I thought, I'm gonna buy some of that dehydrated chili mango for this drink. And I resisted buying it because, you wanna know why? Yes, it would be excellent side nosh for this drink, but the problem is I'll eat the whole fucking bag if it's in my house. So I didn't buy it. And I tend to really try to lean more towards fresh fruits uh, instead of dehydrated fruits in the house. Um, occasionally, like I said, I will use a dehydrated or I will dehydrate fruits and such. But uh, generally, generally I try to uh, avoid buying dehydrated. It's just too much sugar. So if you're somebody that is uh, like me who's had chronic can, candida issues, autoimmune issues, leaky gut, keep the dried fruits out of the house. If you're really trying to break a sugar habit, get that stuff out of the house and, and just have fresh fruits, particularly the low, the low glycemic uh, fruits are, you know, the, the green apple, the berries are best to have if you are trying to overcome candida. Take our rate your gut quiz on firmfatale.com and it'll really reveal to you if you are dealing with any kind of chronic candida issues. I mean, honestly, that's what really brought me to this industry and the inspiration of Firm Fatale. I was so, so sick back in 2001 uh, and not able to drink alcohol. And now guys, keep in mind, this is like long before non-alcoholic drinks, like cool drinks like Shrabucha were around. Uh, we were leaders in the industry that started talking about the social beverage, the need for a social beverage beyond seltzer water, right? So now we're taking the ready to drink to another level by creating fresh probiotic drink recipes. And uh, this one, I'm not sure what to call it. Do you guys have any ideas of what we should call it? We basically put mango, we put the Bulgarian carrot hot sauce, the ritual tequila. I was thinking something like a mango sunrise, but I'm totally open to some ideas. Anybody out there have any fresh ideas for this fresh mocktail recipe? I see a bunch of you guys on here. So I'm just gonna uh, finish this delicious, spicy, sweet, tangy drink off with a little lime on the side and voila there you have it i'm going to place it right here on my nifty firm fatale live clean drink dirty turkish linen coaster <laughs> and cheers to your health cheers to your gut health 